Okay, so the other thing I wanted to uh, just put this in here for perspective. The pipe glass with some pop in it. The other thing I wanted to uh, try today was will the uh, low pressure sodium street lamp work with a standard bulb? Standard, what we have here is um, a daylight bulb, basic bayonet fitting, UK bayonet fitting. And what we have here is a 35 watt Thorn Beta 5. Uh, no pressure sodium street lamp. And we'll just show you it with the there's the low pressure bulb in there at the moment. And we'll just open this up. Might take the daylight sensor off here. Just take that off to make it easier to test around. And off you come. There you go. Alright, not working with it out. What you need to do is do this. I'll start it again, hopefully without it. No, it won't. Obviously it won't work without the air. Uh, oh, I didn't know that. I'm sure it worked without it. Oh well, looks like you need the um, actual daylight sensor in to make it work. There you go. Never mind. Okay, right, I'll just tilt this up and uh, open it up here. There's the bulb there, warming up. And uh, what I'll do is I'll unplug this. Shouldn't be too warm yet. I don't think they're not meant to get too warm these. Nope, not that one. Right, plugs are unplugged. So we'll uh, just clear that out. Pop it over here in a nice safe place. And we'll get the uh, standard bulb. Standard uh, grow light or whatever it is. Standard UK socket. Right, we'll plug that in there. That's it in. It's not going properly. Now there's a thing, it's just went and snapped off. Perhaps it doesn't like that fitting. Hmm. Right. <laughs> well, try put it into that and it just snapped the uh, one of the bayonet fittings off. Let's uh, try getting another one. Alright, so I've got another one of these, it's just the one out of the landing uh, hallway light. I don't know why that snapped off. Just have a check this is handy because this is ceramic. So you just have to be a bit more careful with it. So there it is there. Twist in. Right, it's in. Now that's only like a 13 watt bulb that. So what I'm going to do for safety is I'm going to plug the extension out of the wall socket. Put it there. I'm going to stand right away from it. Before we turn it on. So here goes. Is it going to blow up? Nope, it just lights up straight away like that. But it makes quite a buzzing noise, so the question is how long is that going to last like that? You hear that? That bulb doesn't sound too happy. It looked as though it was getting very, very bright. <laughs> Lots of current going into it. That's why you've got the starter, the igniter, and everything in there to start these bulbs. Now what I think I'll probably do as the next example is uh, try plugging this into a standard um, household socket without all the uh, igniter and everything, all the other equipment you get in this uh, sock street lamp unit there. So I'll just set the camera up for that. Okay, so there's the standard there, uh, wall socket, or ceiling socket. I think what we might do is I might uh, take the uh, shade off this. Standard low pressure sodium 35 watt bulb straight into the bayonet socket of this. I'm just going to test if that's on or off. Right, so on, off. 
So there's your standard bayonet bulb, household bulb, and now we have the one from the low pressure street lamp into the same socket. It's a bit tough to get in there. It's like it doesn't want to go in. Of course, I don't have much light here. There you go, it's in. Right, I'm in the corner. There you go, nothing happens. Lights on, light off. Light on, light off. So, it's not going to work in the standard socket because you need the igniter, the ballast, um, I can't remember what the other, there's three bits of equipment that you have in a uh, lamp post uh, unit for low pressure sodium and high pressure sodium uh, lights to ignite them and that's why this won't work even though it's got the BNX fitting it won't work in this standard socket. Now what I'm going to do is test to make sure this bulb still works in the street lamp. Okay so back into the Thorn Beta 5 goes the 35 watt Phillips low pressure sodium bulb. Read it through there. And there it is there. Right, turn it on the socket and give it a go. And there you go, still works. And that's why you need the igniter to get the bulb to start up, which is the equipment um, basically underneath all of this. Um, I'll open that up and show you that again before the bulb gets too old. And that this is the extra equipment you need to start one of these um, bulbs igniters. It's basically these type of bulbs need a big surge of power just to get them started up. So but the reason they're so efficient is they need a big burst of power to get going and then it just uh, drops right down the amount of power they need after that to maintain the brightness. It's a bit like it's sparking a flame you know and uh, it takes a lot of energy at first but then you just Burns at a lower rate after that. Here we go, here's the extra equipment I was talking about. I uh, don't know which one's which. Uh, I think this is the igniter, it's the ballast. Uh, what does that say? But anyway, that's why um, you won't be able to just buy one of those bulbs and plug it straight into your household socket. That's why you've got to have one of these things to run it. Okay. Um, I think I'll uh, screw this back down again and test it one more time. Now what that means is I can probably, should I just use a standard bulb to test out the Thorn Alpha 4 when I get it wired up or should I try the uh, 35 watt SOX bulb there? Well. I think what I might do is I might try a standard bulb just to make sure that it works and then order a proper 90 watt um, proper 90 watt it's not actually holding no, it's not holding anything yeah. order a proper 90 watt bulb because they're about 20-30 quid I don't really want to waste that much money ah, helps if you put it into the right hole there you go, that's better This time is do a speeded up version of this warming up for you. Still in real time, obviously, and then speed it up for the head of the studio. Right, let you watch that while I tidy up. Thank you. 
Right. Well, that's interesting, you're not getting the uh, pulsating lines as you usually get with this. It is up to full brightness, maybe it's up to turn the other way back. Anyway, there it is at full brightness. So, uh, yep, we'll leave it at that. Thanks again for watching. Oh, let's turn it this way again. Mm. Drunk. There you go.